Pwede naman. Pwede, oh. pwede. Yeah, they're, they're probably one, one to counterpick. Show and show. Yeah. Go ahead. Here, yeah, here, uh, exactly. They, JPO is, J, JPO, JPO's strongest hero is true, and then other than is Akai and other tanks. But that's his most comfort zone. Okay, yes. Sure. And also, if you pick, if you pick, um, if you pick Chu here, then you can also try to cut off the Kaya aggressions in early game. Yeah. Because Chu is a perfect, um, Chu is a perfect counter for Kaya. Yeah. Dependent situation. Yes. Dependent yes. situation. Dependent it's situation. a 50 yes. counter because they can uh, cut off each other. Yeah, time. yeah. Like, uh, just like um, um, uh, water. Water, <laughs> water and, and fire. fire. Water and fire. fire. Water and fire. Pero ako dito yeah. sa game na to, or rather dito sa series na to, gusto ko pang makita kung ano yung tinatago nilang packet picks. Yeah. Ang dami nilang sudden changes eh. From group stages, kahapon, hanggang Correct. ngayon. Paiba-iba sila ng meta, paiba-iba sila ng strategy yes. na kahit tayo, hindi na natin mahulaan kung sino ba yung ipipick nila. Tingin ko yung packet picks nila dito, pare, nakaw picks eh. Nakaw picks. Kasi, picks. man, Hayabusa is, one, is also a counter pick for uh, EVOS Esports SG. Man, madalas din sila nagraran ng Hayabusa pick dito. And again, Sir Panda, the zone mechanics, uh, explain lang natin, yung show kasi, pag nagzo-zone, pwedeng timingan ng Kaja ng Divine the Judgment, mm. pero pwede rin oh. timingan ng show ng Chunpo, yes. ng second yes. skill. Right, right now, second pick, third pick, Gushon nilabas ka agad dito, Madam Yasuo. And the Terisla. Alam mo, yeah. pili ko pag ikaw nagkakas, laging may Terisla pick eh. Pili Kaya nga eh. Uh -oh. Mahal-mahal ka ng Terisla ngayon. Uh -oh. Eh kasi ako, parang hinahanapan ko yung Terisla ng napakagandang play. Pero para uh -oh. sa akin talaga, yung may pinakamagandang Terisla play is yung Luber. So, hindi ko pa masyado nakita or na-observe dito. Yung Terisla play Good. ng Evos. And I'm looking forward kung ano yung gagawin nilang... For the Terisla. Uh, for, for the, the Terisla. Terisla. For the Terisla. Kasi it's not only the Terisla. Eh. Kasama din yung mga teams niya. Eh. For Terisla kasi wala siyang catch potential ng mag-isa lang siya. Eh. Yes, yes. Yes, correct. indeed. Tsaka, kailan ba tayo nakakita ng laro na hindi dikit, hindi bakbakan with a Terisla? Yeah, parang 50-50 lagi. 50-50 uh, parate. Ang percentage mm -hmm. ng oh. win rate. Ng Terizla sa MSC Coach Vanda, you have something to say? Yes, I want to say about the draft, why they did this. I mean, I'm, okay. not, I'm not in their team, but I'm okay. yeah. just yes, uh, based on my coaching experience is that. So, here they picked the Gushan here because since the enemy has Akaya, Gu Gushan and Kaya is like a perfect com perfect uh, team yes. together, right? Yeah. And then here they picked the Hayabusa is because they're expecting that Evos always loves to use Marksman, right? Correct. Yeah, and the Marksman is weak against Hayabusa. And then, if you're, if you're playing marksman like carry or anything, then you always have to be teamed up with the tank. And the Hayabusa at level 4, he can zone them together. Yeah. So that's why here, instead of picking a marksman, they put Teresa because Teresa is a very good strong laner against even Hayabusa. Yeah, uh, and uh, good sustain, uh, good sustain, sustain and good and damage and against, and, and yeah. and damage. against Hayabusa. But uh, speaking of counter pick, man, too easy for Jeff. I do feel that uh, Esmeralda is, uh, also, is a, also a good answer. For that there is the pick because Esmeralda wants his yes. enemies near him. Yes. There is that wants enemies near him also. Yes. So who would benefit the most? I, I I do feel that it's, it's Esmeralda because of the shield. The shield because Clamping of the shield. shield. Yeah. yeah. But, but it, it depends again because Esmeralda her crucial point is the early game. If she yes. doesn't get much farm, if she doesn't get the early, the early then she's no also, damage. Then she's a mage. Then yes. she's, she's a melee. De Melee mage. Correct. So if she if she keeps getting cut off by Chu or Gushan, then later on that she won't have the damage, she won't have the sustain, and the, unless she has the items. All right. But the thing with Esmeralda, kasi is once na napuno yung shield niya at medyo tumaba siya, kahit medyo taba lang hindi yung to the point na sobrang siya, yeah. gra siya yung grabbing nakapatay, oh. siya yung nakapaform lahat lahat. But kaya niyang ano? Eh, kaya niyang ipagtanggol yung buong team niya. But, that, but niya. that's on the late game. Pa, oh, late, eh. game late game pa yun. Late game, game pa yun. Paano eh. kung mga early game sila ng esports, espo, uh, ng evos dito, madam Yasu. Oh, oh. Geek fam, for the side of Geek fam kasi, kasi dahil tayo nag-usapan na rin natin yung Esmeralda. Esmeralda, oh. she's um, a hero, a very strong hero na known na kaya makapag 1v1 sa tatlo. Tama. And then, magsasama-sama pa dito sa may gitna, let's say, uh, si Terizla, di kasabat pa si Chon na umapasok and that show as well. And that's gonna be the last pick, Selina, para sa side ng Geek Bank. Okay, since kompleto na, Akai, Kari for the last two picks ng Evos SG, Geek Bank naman, Kaja, I am sorry, is that a Minotaur and a Selina? Minotaur. For the Geek Bank? Yes. Okay, this is really interesting. Lots of rotation coming in for Geek Bank. Okay, pili ko, simulan ko na yung prediction eh. Simulan mo na. Start ko na yung prediction, Coach Banda. Start ko na. Prediction. For Evos and Geek Fam din naman kasi you're talking about bahala na o yung drop natin kasi kailangan eh. Pero these two, kilalang kilala nila yung sarili nila. Pero 
I believe handa na yung game natin and we are ready for the East um, Evos Esports Best of 3 and Geek Fam. So, Kuya Manjin at Ate Yasu, take it away. Okay, na take it away na nga namin. <laughs> Wala naman, Evos Esports <laughs> SG. Ang gumigera ka ka dito, Geek Fam. Bro, na wala, ladies and gentlemen. Dito kayo to easy for Jeff B, pero nakuha nila agad oh. yung first blood. So, kanina tinag-uusapan natin kung ano yun, madam? mauunang makipag-angasan. Oh, oh. Naangasan sila agad ng Ibos doon. Parang ano to, no? Laban na nag-agresibo. Yeah. sino ang pag-agresibuan. Piling ko, madam, uh, let's run down the lineup muna para ma-refresh yung mga tropa pips natin nanonood. Cho, Therese, Lakari, Akai, and Gushon. Para dito, Oder Bambi, Ace Potato Soul, and JPL para sa Ibos. And para sa side man and Geek Bambi, we got Repo playing as the Esmeralda Dominion and that's Elena. Too easy for Jeff B. For the Minotaur, we have Kaja para kay Sword. Fix naman on the Hayabusa. Okay, Madam, uh, Madam Yasumiya, 1 minute 20 oh, seconds oh. para dito sa side ng uh, Ibos sila ang nakakuha ng first blood. Lagi natin pinag-uusapan dito yung Therese na pikpili ko nga ikaw lagi yung nagkakas niyan. Napaka, <laughs> napaka sustainable na hero. And look at this, Ibos actually shutting down the farm and the rotations na pwedeng gawin ni Paring Fix na sinabi ni Coach Panda mm -hmm. na kailangan yung Hayabusa yung maging main ano dito, parang main shutdown uh -oh. para sa Ibos. Kasi Hayabusa... If hindi siya, uh, actually hindi naman talaga dapat sumasama yung Hayabusa sa team. Pag oh, usually oh. nakikita natin sa Hayabusa, hihiwalay siya sa isang lane kung saan walang kalaban or less yung kalaban na hindi siya mahuhuli. And then he's just pressuring the lane. And by that, nakakapag-farm yung isang Hayabusa. And yes. the moment na pagpatak ng late game, oh, oh. kahit sumali siya sa laban, may item na siya eh. Tsaka masakit talaga eh. The, 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 the shadow kill five strikes on one. Yep. Diba, matik ka agad, may mapipitas ka. And the bind you, madam, Yung lineup ng Geek Pam, apat dito kaya makipag-clash. Ikaw na nagsabi mismo, pag sumut yung uh, Mino and Fury, pag sumut yung pa Falling Star Moon, nasa delikadong position ng Evos Esports SG. Yeah, for the side of Geek Pam naman kasi, I'm, I'm thinking na pwede sila pumasok. Ito nga, magkakasama yung tatlo magbe-best friend dito, pero hindi nila magawang pasukan sa Evos yung nasa middle lane. Oh, oh. Fix though, tinatry niya lang microhen yung nasa may baba and trying to at least disrupt the farm ng carry at the bottom lane. Speaking Pero, of disrupt. Nahuli nila. Itong si Gushon with the divine judgment and continuing on that third turtle. Sila pa ang na-disrupt. Sila, pa, Sila pa ang na-disrupt, Madam Yasu. Three minutes in, Geek Pam securing the turtle the right the now. There's the UK Pero dance. Pero napakagal ang ipad yan coming from Ace. Dalawa yun ang ipad dito sa lina to fall down. Pero haabuli din naman ang minuwan Fury na kuha nila dito. Itong si Ace. Ace na lang may iwan fix. Hindi niya din nakuha yung kill para kay JBL. That's gonna be a one-for-one -one exchange lang. Pero Ace dito, he's just an Akai. Oh, oh. Comparing sa Selena, which is a core ng sign ng Geek Pam. Medyo ano, medyo mas lamang ang Selena. na din dito kung iisipin mo standing on that level 5 ma Madam Yasu and wow uh, Geek Pam actually going really well uh, doing really well sa kanilang rotations Madam Yasu uh, even though na siya shut down si Fix uh -oh. doon sa bandang bottom lane sila pa ang nagdikta sila pa ang nagdikta kung kailan ang laban kagaya niya no pero ito si Sol tinatry niya din guluhin dito si Esmeralda and si Kaja for Esmeralda and Kaja especially the Kaja uh -oh. hindi papasok ang Geek Pam nang walang divine judgment Ah, oh, syempre, kailangan mo yung security mm -hmm. nung, uh, nung hold na meron kayo. Pero, Madam Yasu, looking at it, no. si, uh, ang Geekpam dito, medyo lamang nasa ating pera. At parang walang nakukuhang uh, early game aggression yung Ibos Esports SG na gusto dapat nila makuha. Di ba, kagaya na nga ng sinabi natin kanina, they need to shut down everyone, Ripo, and mind you, Esmeralda, medyo mahina siya sa early game. Pero, padating na tayo ng mid-game. Oh. Padating na talaga tayo ng mid-game dito. No matter how much itent nila ito si Ayabusa, pero mukhang mahuli nila dito si Soul na hindi enough yung duration ng ating Divine Judgment to hit that arrow as well. Pero hindi nila, pinapasukan na nga nila dito oh. si Soul, pero hindi talaga enough. Pero sure, low on HP na siya, hindi din abot dito ng Ring of Order. Itong si Soul, he's gonna survive, they have to go back, pero sila yung unang mababasaga <laughs> ng tower dito. Oy, par, Brad, ang ginagawa mo? Grabe yung nangyari doon, too easy, kulang yung damage niya, inuuna niya yung crush gear. At... <laughs> Wala siyang nagawa na push dito ng Evos Esports SG yung baba. There's the ipit. Ipit nila dito. Hayabusa, kanina pa mainit sa mata. Gustong gusto nilang huliin. Ito si Hayabusa. Mainit. Eh, mainit na mainit. Mainit sa mata ang Hayabusa and Potato without any mana getting the secure kill. Madam Yasu, 3-3 ang ating score. Na, dito lang napatunayan na talagang walang risky place 
Wala kang pwedeng risky moves kapag elimination game. Low scoring game. Yung, kung ibang game to, nakita na natin, 8 score na. Dito parang ano lang eh, safe play at nagkakaunahan lang talaga sa next turtle. Yeah. Mind you, this is the second turtle pa lang ng ating laban, Madam Yasu. Pero wala pa rin nagro-rotate doon. Ang ginagawa kasi nilang dalawa, parang dalawa silang nagro-rotate eh. Oo, oo. Dalawa Sabay. silang nagro-rotate for Evos and Geek Fam. Dalawa silang parehas gustong mag-rotate. Parehas magbigay ng early aggression. Correct. Geek Fam, I'm expecting kanina, Geek Fam, Esmeralda, Kaja, and Minotaur, sila yung magbe-best friend na lagi magkasama na tatalon sa mga tower. Trio Kaso tagapayo. Man, oo, oh, trio oh, tagapayo. Kasi oh. hindi nila na-execute ng maayos yung dalawa... Um, yun jump nila on the tower na supposed to be na ba if nakuha nila yun the early game pero dito oh, sa play mukhang nagkakabalugugan na naman with the hurricane dance coming from this guy pero nice one para kay Fig sa ano lang hindi ko hindi lang. lang ako sure kung nasaktuhan ba yung purify ni Potato doon kasi hindi siya nahila ng divine judgment eh yeah probably May nasaktuhan niya eh kasi oh, oh. kung hindi siya nahila ng divine judgment probably pinop niya yung purify bago mag in etong si Shore. Kasi may, 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 may perfect timing doon yes. sa Divine Judgment. Nad alam ko na di Divine Judgment kayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero pag mali yung timing mo, ay pag tama yung timing mo, hindi. Hindi. So hindi. Pag, pag nasaktuan, a nice move coming out from Potato. Pero madam, mauhuli yata nila dito si Shore, no, though wala naman backup dito si Shore. Chillax lang. And Chilax again, lang. balik doon sa sinabi mo, Madam Yasu, parang uh, yung, yung, yung plano sana ng Geek Fam dito was to create and make plays using the Kaja aggressiveness mm -hmm. na si Lena pick off Pero ngayon, parang na-out, ano sila eh. Hindi to outplay, hindi to outclass. Outlane sila. Na-outlane sila. Oo, na parang, parang mas sustainable yung lane ng Evos Esports e SG dito by, by just having the Terizla. Yes, Terizla din kasi hinahabol niya din yung mga creeps. Hindi, ang kagandaan dito sa Evos, oo. hindi nila hinahayaan na may ma-pressure sa kanilang lane. Ah, parang ano, parang walang oh. walang titibag-tibag sa amin. Oo. Oh, well, oh. mind you, Kuya Manjin, oh, oh. medyo nagka-minowan nagka pure yata sa mga germs. Sa mga germs. Sa mga germs. Sa mga germs. Parang ano eh, parang sabi ng Evos Esports SG, walang lower-lower bracket, walang sumpa-sumpa. Hindi -sumpa. kami papatipag. Ano sinasabi niyo walang coach-coach? No need. Parang sabi ni na Soul dito, tingnan mo si Solo, parang gangster lang. O ginangster, What? ladies and gentlemen. Medyo maasim! Like a gangster, para Naka kay Soul dito. Nakatikim ng sinigang. Nakatikim ng sinigang. Oo, oh, sinigang mix. Sinigang mix. Piling ko pinapoodtrip eh, pina ni, ni na Boss Bon eh. Yung mi mismo oh, sinigang mix. Yung mismo sinigang mix eh, natikman niya. <laughs> Mahirap eh. yan. Mahirap yan. At dahil dyan, napigilan yung aggression ngayon ng Ibos Esports SG. Again, yeah. there are certain kind of com com compositions, Madam Yasu, na hindi kayo umaasa sa clash, umaasa kayo sa lane capability, yeah. sa lane dominance ng composition nyo. At ngayon, kitang-kita natin yun for Ibos Esports SG. Bakit ko nasabi ito? Gary, pwede niyang kasama yung Cho and yung Akai in the bottom lane. Interis na can survive ng isa, Madam Yasu. Pero ito, face checking para kay JPL. Pero hindi naman nila hahabulin yan. Hinatak nga lang nila dito si JPL. Yun. Hindi na sila tutulungan. Hindi na siya tutulungan doon. Apat na yun eh. At ayun yung hinahanap ng Geek Fam na hila mula kay Shorn. Yes. And naging, naging ipe, ikaw na nagsabi nito, si Shorn ang box out king. Pero ngayon, ang, ka, ang Kaja parang hindi taga box out ang Kaja eh. Yeah, kasi comparing dun sa mga ginagamit niyang hero before, Oo. nakukunat eh. He's using the Cho to box out anyone ah. and the Cho is a tank, di ba? Tama. And then he used the Grok yesterday as well. Kumbaga, yung box out, siya yung magbabox out dito, pero yung position niya, point guard. Oh, oh. Hindi center at hindi hindi ano, hindi hindi power forward unlike Cho, unlike Crack na sinabi mo malambot. Mm, malambot. Semi malambot, semi malambot ang semi isang malambot. kaja. Oh, semi malambot. Hindi siya kasing kunat. Yes, makunat siya pero tandaan mo mas makunat pa rin ang Cho at mas makunat pa rin ang Crack sa kanya, Madam Yasu. True, hindi naman kasi siya tulad ng isang Cho na may minus damage. Oh, oh. tsaka gawa siya sa feathers eh. Oo, oh, oh. malambot ang feathers. Oo. Oh. Malambot ang feathers. Totoo naman talaga, JPL ang nagba-box out ngayon, one of his best heroes ang Cho dito and mind you, uh, Cho mains ang naglalaban dito, Madam uh, Madam Yasu. Nine minutes na. Ito na ba ang late game na kailangan ng Esmeralda? Well, I don't see na nandito na yung late game ng Esmeralda. Depending on her items, parang hindi pa sapat eh. Parang bitin eh, no? Parang bitin pa eh. Parang bitin eh. Uh, hindi natin napansin, nakuha yung Lord. Ah, oo. Oh, That's ah, a pre-Lord actually. Ang dami nating sinabi, nag-Lord na pala. Yeah. Ang dami nating sinabi, nag-Lord na pala. At yung Lord pupunta sa mid lane right now. Look at the minimap, ladies and gentlemen. There's the pressure coming out from Evos Esports SG. Bottom lane, there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one engagement. Pero Hindi okay. Hindi makaporma dito itong si Hayabuse. Chinicheck kasi siya ni Teresa always. Teresa, 
Gaya nga nung kinumpyut mo nung group stage. Kinumpyut ko yun eh. Wala calculator yun eh. Kinumpyut niya yun. Pero ito, computed din. Ito si Shorn na nahula with a turkey dance. Pero Esmeralda jumping in to four. Esmeralda to two. Oh. Just is dead. Pero pinasok. Itong ni Sol. Yung tatlo. Sol do. Paano ka lalabas? Pero nakalabas pa rin naman dito si Sol. Kasi napas na alas 4. Oh. Tapos, pinapasok na yung style ng Geek Fam. And tuturugin din yung nasa middle lane. Nagkabagsakan na. Dalawa na lang sila. Kaya mo sa mga silang mapagsagot. Ah! Sige na, doa lang Esports SG. Esports SG! Malapit nang mawala ang sumpa. Unti-unti na nating naririnig ang roar ng Evos Esports SG and Geek Fam. Kitang-kita nyo ngayon yung frustration sa mukha nila, Madam Yasu. Yeah, true. True. Sabi ko naman kasi, kaya ako nag-geek fam dito, if makukuha nila yung rotation nila with the Kaja, with the Minotaur, and...